bitches come and go but this glow will stay Hello people, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Shubhanki. In today's video, I'm going to do a skincare video after so long. I feel like it's been more than six, seven months that I haven't done a sit down skincare video updating about my skincare routine. And let me tell you, my skin was growing through a lot. You guys know that I was breaking out a lot and then I kind of fixed it, but obviously getting acne is an ongoing process. I do have acne marks, but it's kind of fading as well. But I, today in this video, I want to focus on glowing skin because let me tell you, for the longest time, I had extremely, extremely shahara desert dry skin and I, I i always wanted for a glowing skin that's why i always opted for glowing primer hydrating foundation formula cream blushes so my makeup routine has always been like cream 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 and very less powder that's because i always always craved for glowing skin glow from within wala skin and kind of feel like i achieved it what do you guys think i don't have for the first time no not for the first time but after a long long time i don't have a single speck of makeup on my face today yeah I love this glow. Also, my last skincare video was like a dry textured skin concerned video and it got really well received by you guys. And you guys commented with a lot of skin concerns in that video. So I thought, wait, there are a lot of people like us having dry skin issues. So I need to sit down and update you guys on my recent current glowing skin. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. But before that, let me tell you, I have dry skin, but I get a little bit of acne as well. And these are the products that I'm going to show you guys worked really, really well for me. But this may not work for you, maybe because you have different skin concerns or different skin types. So obviously do patch test if you are listening to this video and buying anything from this video. Also, another very, very important thing is that my skin is very opposite too sensitive i mean how am i going to explain that what is opposite to sensitive it's very anti-sensitive so i don't mind fragrance in my skincare and kind of all of this has fragrances because i don't mind it i only mind fragrance if it gives me migraine yeah too much of strong fragrance does give me migraine so i kind of avoid that other than that my skin is well and good with fragrance and needless to say all the products are super super affordable yeah very affordable so with that like share comment subscribe and let's go Okay, I forgot about another thing as well. There are so many things that I want to mention in this video that I'm forgetting everything. So this is also a minimalist form of makeup routine. So basically, I always figured out that sticking to very less skincare helped me, my help my skin rather than like 10 step, 14 step. If I stick to three step, four step, it helps me immensely. And I kind of am a big believer of uh, letting skin heal itself, not like putting extra uh, support or, you know, concentrated products from outside. I want to let skin heal itself so that's why i don't use any sort of serums it's very affordable that's why my skincare routine and you're gonna get a glowing skin that's enough shubhanki let's get into it yeah so my am routine is very very simple i have only two steps one is moisturizer another is spf so you can't skip any of them okay these are must must have in your routine if you have a dry skin as soon as i said i start with a moisturizer some of you guys must be wondering oh well what where is the cleanser I'll tell you, you don't need cleanser if you have really dry skin. That is because I didn't actually know this, but I have been doing this for a really long time. And I felt like I'm the laziest person and that's why I do this. But I recently, like two months ago, I listened to Dimats and also read some articles about if you even wash your face with water, you kind of end up losing a little bit of moisture from the skin. So basically, if you use water, you are going to get rid of a lot of buildups, oils. And that is, I'm telling you guys, really sufficient, at least for my skin, really sufficient. Just splashing water on your face and then like soaking with a clean cloth, cotton cloth. I felt like my skin is like freaking fresh right now and I don't need a cleanser so I never use cleanser in my AM routine I directly after that go with a moisturizer the moisturizer that I go with is this one now this is very old favorite I have been talking this for the past more than eight nine months I had this in my last video as well so you can understand it's been long and this is like my fifth or sixth bucket so what is this so this is white soft paraffin and liquid paraffin cream from the brand Parasoft now this is specifically created for dry skin and if you are oily skin just stay the hell away from this moisturizer because it's thick and heavy and that is the reason I have been sticking to this one so this retails for 315 and you get a big big jar just imagine so it's like 200 gram for 315 which is super cheap i feel like nowadays so you know i have been using this moisturizer for so long that i got bored and i went a month off and started trying out my childhood favorite which is this one this nivea bottle jar tub so this one is the thicker version i used to love this blue one and i then thought let's just go back to this one and then i applied it and then you know what <laughs> i missed i freaking missed this one this is heavy i used to know that but then using this after applying this made me realize that no no this is the heaviest so yeah i kind of finished it and rushed back to this one this is my new tub now let's move on to sunscreen now spf is something that i always always apply even if i'm like doing nothing lying in bed all my blinds are off curtains are off no sunlight then also i apply spf so this is a very important step in my 
skincare routine so the spf you guys i think know about this one because i have talked so much about it so the, this spf i love this spf so this is this one so this is a sunscreen lotion from blessing tree now it has spf 50 and pa triple plus and it's a mineral based sunscreen and obviously it's a broad spectrum sunscreen now it retails for uh, let me tell you guys uh, okay i have used this so much that all the writings are washed off but i'm gonna put it on the screen oh i got it so it retails for 4.99 but i think i have gotten it in much lesser price it has 100 ml so i think it's quite quite affordable this is also i think my fifth bottle yeah one of my holy grails but obviously you guys know if you use a product for a longer time you tend to get bored so i've been hunting sunscreens recently and i got few and i want to make a separate video on it because it's summer you guys must be wondering about sunscreens and it's so freaking expensive sunscreens are oh my god so so I got a new sunscreen and and I've been using this for like uh, 20 no 15 to 20 days you can see it's like empty so the sunscreen that I'm talking about is sunshade it's a sunscreen it says it's a sunscreen lotion but the consistency is not at all like a lotion form and because of that only I love it because you know while applying you can control and your eyes stinks less a little bit and also thick creamy texture is really suitable for dry skin like me now it's a broad spectrum PA triple plus but the SPF is 30 a little low this one is 50 and this one is 30 you're gonna get like 50 ml at 175 which is I think still deep and when I got it I was like shocked how can the price be 175 now let me tell you what actually attracted me to this sunscreen and I didn't like toss it out thinking that this could be another gimmicky sunscreen so it has like full details ingredient list written over here apart from that it has written its critical wavelength and the UVA UVB ratio which is I didn't find any other sunscreen to have that on their back uh, which really made me trust this sunscreen and I obviously applied it and I've been using it and I'm hooked so I'm gonna really recommend this one uh, but wait for the sunscreen video that I'm planning to make you're gonna get more options I think we are done with our AM routine. Yeah, that two step only I do because I'm always in a hurry and a rush and my morning schedules are so jam packed. How freaking ever I take I take my sweet little time and do a long night skincare routine because obviously for a dry skin person, night skincare routine means so much because uh, and also I always believed in that when you sleep your body repairs so obviously it's the right time to apply all your skincare so that you know you get the most benefit out of it so night skincare routine is the most important part of my skincare routine so let's start it's gonna be a little long a little bit long not too much obviously stressing on the minimalist skincare routine so for the PM routine obviously I'm gonna start with double cleansing I use a cleansing balm and I'm kind of tiptoeing into a cleansing oil right now first of all if you wanna ask me why should I cleanse like double cleanse with a cleansing balm obviously first of all that if you apply makeup or even sunscreen you need to get it off from your skin and let your skin breathe while it repairs all through your sleep so that is the first point i feel like the second point is like if you don't apply makeup not even spf still you need it because like your skin produces dirt or even the air around you it has so many dirts bacteria it sits on you okay it sits on you who is gonna clean up that mess who is gonna do that you right and in that way your pores are not clogged uh, i think i have talked about this oil cleanser for so many times you guys are gonna know about this but i obviously have a new one so i'm gonna talk about both of them so let me start with the older one so the older one is this one this is plums illuminescent simply subtle cleansing balm i think this is quite affordable like if i compare with other uh, cleansing balms available in the market so this is i think my fourth fourth stuff you know what i had a real good fight with my mom about who will take this tub after you know completely finishing it like this looks so sleek the tub so my mom wants that yeah such a classic middle class convo i think i have talked about and featured this product so much on my channel that plum you should like freaking sponsor me but though i used to love this plum one but recently i have a new favorite not gonna lie i've been loving it so i have talked about this cleansing balm in my recent uh, video and even did a first impression showing you guys how it works so you guys should check that video out now the product that i'm talking about is ny based skin definite cleansing gel it's a cleansing gel it's like right between the balm consistency and oil consistency so the gel is like thicker as well as thinner so <laughs> i hope you understand that now uh, let me tell you i've been using this for like 15 days now 15 to 20 days now and there are a couple of reasons why i'm kind of reaching towards this one more than this one so nyb did come up a bunch of skincare and i i picked this one up because you know i was in a hunt to find out a good cleansing balm other than this one like other than this one now that i have both the option i'm reaching towards this one more and that is because first of all this one takes so little product to like freaking wash off my whole face and obviously because this is a gel consistency so it kind of spreads all over your face and melts out your makeup with very little product however this is a balm consistency so it cannot flow all over your face and melt you need more product another big reason is that since it's gel i don't have to like freaking rub my skin to take my makeup off with balm consistency i have to like freaking dig, 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 dig. i have to do that but with gel I, I can be gentle and spread the whole thing all over my face and you know if you have dry skin you don't want to like freaking like rub your face I, I hate to do that so that is another reason so i'm liking this one more uh, but 
both are good now uh, is the time for a cleanser for a water based cleanser i generally like to apply a lotiony sort of a consistency wala cleanser you know i actually can skip this day but i don't don't now after washing off your face with cleansing balm you have some residue on your skin that you can't see with your naked eye face wash or cleanser that you use is going to take that off so then only your skin will be squeaky clean can breathe throughout the night so also this has been my staple like freaking staple for one year i feel so this is the one i think this is the only product which is like perfume free very very perfume free and the ingredient is super clean i don't know how they come up with such good ingredient product with such affordable price so this is called cleanse me cleansing lotion it's a gentle skin cleanser it's sulfate free so this is my holy grail and i don't think i'm going to ever i mean i don't know if i get a better option i will but i don't think i'm going to get a better option i've been sticking to this for i think a year and you know i'm not bored I love it. Now it's the time to moisturize your skin. I told you guys I don't use any serums and stuff. So I go directly to moisturizing my skin and I do a certain thing. So that is I basically triple moisturize. Yeah, I don't know that even that's a word or so. So what I do is basically obviously I use this moisturizer. So I take and apply a layer. Also by the way I apply moisturizer like a mask. Yeah, freaking mask. Then also I do a second layer with this moisturizer. So that is my double layered moisturizer. It freaking helped me so much wake up with a glowing skin. You can see that glow from within things. you have that just apply two layers of moisturizer uh, and sometimes i even apply three layers just under my eyes because under eyes uh, the skin is very thin and it becomes really really dry uh, for dry skin though obviously it is going to be so dry because you don't have much oil glands in there anyway also now a special thing that i sometimes do not always when i think my skin is feeling super dry a little bit of dry patches i can feel it's happening uh, here and there i like to lock my moisturizer using a uh, oil so the oil that you guys know about this oil i was like stressing what to do with this oil that i got it but yeah i figured out a way though thanks for or telling me what to do with this oil in the comment section yeah i kind of figured out what to do and i've been loving this it's freaking showing results so the oil that i'm talking about is this one it's a big big jar so it's safflower oil it's 500 ml by the way and it retails for very less 250 rupees so i got it from amazon and i use it first of all to shave my face and the next is when you know i just discussed about my condition when it becomes too dry patchy i take like 3 to 4 drops on my hand and just freaking rub my hand and then like dab 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 pat 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 wow pat 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 on my face and yeah i just let it be like that i don't drag it i don't blend it or anything i just pat 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 and then go to sleep also if you guys are wondering like it's a oil how do you know it's not going to clog your pores damn right a good question but i know that's because safflower oil formulogenic rating is like 0 to 1 obviously i checked that and then bought that so if you are going for any oil for face check its formulogenic rating and then you can obviously go ahead so this has helped me immensely so i love it this routine and <laughs> you can see the glow i have nothing on my face right now and i did the freaking full video it's been like two hours of me blabbering on the camera and my glow is still there which is come and go but this glow will stay now uh, another thing that i did not mention is like you can see my whole routine is kind of heavily focused on hydration moisturization supple glowy locking your moisture dewy sort of a thing but i mean so much of hydration moisturization is going to some day clog your pores if you don't take good care of your skin clean it properly so obviously there comes exfoliation and i don't use a physical exfoliator obviously dry skin people i don't think you should but obviously you do you because you know about your skin more than any skin influencer i'm not though so the og exfoliator i think i have been using this exfoliator for like more than 9 months now i love it so the exfoliator that i swear by is this one so this is you can see how much i kind of have finished with <laughs> wait 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 yeah how much i kind of have finished so this is obviously the og minimalist aha pha bha skin exfoliator this is very famous so that's why i obviously picked it up i don't know i don't want to explore exfoliators no this really works out really really good but however i since i've been using this for so long it doesn't sting that much anymore because i think my skin has you know gotten adjust to this uh, sort of dose however i use it once in a week and i let it be there on my skin for like 10 to 12 minutes now and then wash it off carefully so that it doesn't enter my eyes you know what one day i did it casually washed it off and i think it entered my eyes and the whole night it stained so much please don't do that and also while washing don't eat it because it's freaking sour and it tastes so bad so i had to binge eat a whole packet of oreo learn from my mistakes <laughs> but anyway i really like it because it instantly after you know you're going to able to understand after you wash off your face after that 10 minute thing your pores will look so clean and not clogged squeaky clean everything also i have seen that if you have active acne uh, after you wash it off it looks very improved flattened and if there was a white pus the pus goes away so it has helped a lot and also you know i use it to spot 
uh, treat acne like for example i haven't used exfoliator for my whole face but where there is acne i take a little drop and just place it there and just keep it like that the entire night and then wash off my face with water the next morning so it has also helped me a lot uh, but i don't know i'm not sure about this thing it works wonders for my skin but would it work or react on your skin so you have to check that out and also i didn't see anybody doing that so i'm a little skeptical about it but i do it i do it also on those days when i exfoliate with this one so i lock my moisturizer with this oil it's been really handy so if you have dry skin i would highly recommend to have a sort of oil you don't have to apply every day but you get a lot of use out of a big jar of oil so i think that is my updated glowing minimalist skincare routine i hope you have enjoyed it i hope it's helpful you know yeah so that's it for the video i hope you have enjoyed today's video all the products will be linked in the description box below for you guys to check out and please comment below if you find this video helpful like share comment subscribe of course and with that i'm gonna go now i'll meet you guys in my next video until then be happy be happy and bye Ooh, I'm gonna pull up steady to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, when I left, I told 'em I was getting right. Yeah, yeah. Break bread and break hearts. Don't get me started now.